I'm in Adobe After Effects CS4, and what I have here is a BCC extruded text effect from Boris Continuum Complete Version 6 applied. And BCC 6, version 603 update introduced some new um, animation parameters related to text and text on a path. And jitter, and I'm just going to show some a couple text on a path effects here. Here I'll preview the effect. You see I'm animating the text along the path and using its tracking and letter skew to kind of create the illusion like it's going up and down hills and being affected by gravity as it moves. And we'll come back to that, but here let me just show a little bit of how you put text on a path using Boris Continuum Complete Extruded Text Filter. First let's create a path, so I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Got it set to Roto Bezier, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, so that that'll serve as a basic kind of path for us. <clears throat> and to get it on a path, path set to AE mask in this case, and AE mask chosen there. Um, a couple parameters that are useful to use along with text on a path are found under letter transformations. Um, one is baseline. See I can actually offset um, the text from its baseline, which in this case is the path. And of course this on path position parameter is the, the major one we're going to be animating there. And there's also tracking as well. Um, here, See here I have left, right, center justified. If it's left justified and I do the tracking, you see that the stretch out along the path from left to right, and you know, right justified, obviously it's going to do the opposite, stretching towards the left. And there's a separate option where tracking will be ignored and it just distributes the text characters along the path, which can be useful as well. All right, so if we were to animate this along this path, create a keyframe in the beginning, and actually let me just move it all the way off. <clears throat> Go to the end of my timeline here, pull that parameter way out. And now you see we basically already have it moving along the path. And what I did in that other animation was I used this letter basically in the in the places where I have it going faster, as it kind of comes down the hill, I pull, had it animated it so this would pull back to give a sort of a look of speed and um, that motion in that direction, as if wind or some force were pushing on it a little bit. And then the other thing I was doing was as it was getting to the top, I was um, stretching out the tracking a little more so it looked like gravity was like pulling it you know on either side over the uh, over the hump there <clears throat> so the resulting animation once again and actually these paths um, you can see here's some of the keyframes I made in there use on these on path position tracking skew X and then I used a little jitter as well but this one shows the speed graph of the um, on path position so here it's going slowly and then faster 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 and then it starts to slow down again as it stretches over and then faster faster like that so you get that that nice kind of rolling down up motion and you see it kind of really starts to look like it has some the text has some physical properties there some elasticity and uh, like it's being affected by the gravity of the situation you know, which is uh, all achieved by simply animating a few of these parameters, assigning them some, some keyframes. And what else do I have here? Oh, this is a um, another text on path effect where I'm using a ripple deformer and I'm using ring text in this case. And as these characters sort of come together, what I had was I was using the jitter Which is down here, and I had jitter speed at zero, but I animated the jitter amount. So I started out with them all, their position y scattered and their angle rotation, <clears throat> and animated that from 
some large value back down to zero. And so the text characters seem to come together in their ring, and then I animate the baseline to a larger value here at the end to push them apart uniformly. So that's kind of a cool little effect, even simpler to do than the previous one, um, just by animating a few of these parameters. And you see the kind of the kind of effects you can get <clears throat> with the kind of control that's offered for uh, from Boris Continuum Complete version six extruded text.